Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to create your first repository on AWS code commit and configure that using HTTPS. I have logged into the AWS management console as an IAM user. So first let's review whether the IAM user has the necessary privilege to use the AWS code commit service. Click IAM. Click users. This is the user I have logged in. Clearly you can see this user has the administrator access permissions. So this user can perform all the administrator related activities. So in case if you wanted to use an another user and give that user only code commit related permissions, then you can create that user and then click add permissions and click add permissions and then select the radio button attach policies directly and then you can search for code commit related policies. Clearly you can see there are three code commit related policies, AWS code commit full access, AWS code commit power user and AWS code commit read only access. For creating the repositories and performing actions, either give the AWS code commit full access or AWS code commit power user policy to that user. Now let's go to code commit. Click code commit. Let's create our first repository by cl clicking the create repository. So I'm going to give the repository as a name as a demo app. Description is optional. If you want, you can add tags to that repository. Now click create. The repository has been successfully created. But if you wanted to connect to this repository from your system, you need to perform certain connection steps. The first one is you need to have the Git client installed on the system. I've already installed the Git client in my system. Let's confirm that by giving the git version. Yes, we have the git client version 2.39.1 installed in the system. The next step is to generate the git credentials for the IAM user. For that, again, you need to go to IAM. Select users. Select the user. Click security credentials. And here you have an option to generate the credentials click generate credentials so this credentials will be visible only now so copy and save the credentials in a secure place or you can click the download credentials and save the credentials to your system click close now we have successfully created the git credentials for the aws code commit So next we can clone the repository, copy the URL, paste it here. Now you need to provide the username, paste the username here, paste the password. So you get a message, you appear to have cloned an empty repository, yes, this, that repository was an empty repository. So let's get into the repository. So let's add a new file to the repository. I'm going to add the content to the demo.txt file. You can see a demo.txt file has been created and it has the content as hello world. So now let's check the git status. So git status says no commits yet and we have not added any files. So first let's add the file. So now again let's check for the git status. So it says we have a new file which needs to be committed. So let's commit that. Git commit. We give the command as file added. So now we have committed. But let now let's go to the code commit repository. Still there is no file, still it is an empty repository, right? 
because we have added the file but we have not pushed the changes so let's push the changes so we have successfully pushed our changes to the repository now let's go and check it in the code commit repository like the app now you can see the demo.txt file in the code commit repository so we have successfully pushed one file to the code commit repository from our local system in this demo we have seen how to create a repository on aws code commit and configure https by creating the git credentials for the aws code commit and then cloning the repository in the local system and creating a new file and pushing those file changes to the aws code commit repository thanks for watching the demo